are you running to win or not? And I think she's clearly, I mean, they're spending gobs of money against me. Uh, they're not spending money against Donald Trump. So that, that, that's an indication they may not be playing to win. But then, two, she is the darling of these never-Trump voters. She is getting massive amounts of money from liberal Democrats in California, liberal Democrats on Wall Street who view her as like an anti-Trump. And yet, if she's angling at the same time to be his vice president, where's the truth in advertising about that? So the way to clear it up is just to definitively answer the question, uh, would you accept yes or no? And she's not willing to do that. She gives these word salads, uh, and I think that that's just something that's not given the position that she's staked out with courting these never-Trumpers. Uh, it's just not a sustainable position. So will she answer the question, yes or no, voters deserve an answer? Last question. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. Guys, isn't it amazing, man, when you think about the fact the Republican primary basically feels over. It basically is over, and not one vote has been cast. I mean, it is the strangest primary season ever i mean that's obviously an understatement we got you know ballot problems we've got election interference problems we've got cases coming out of our ears it is the craziest primary season ever it basically feels like there are two incumbent presidents on the ballot and really depending on who you ask that's essentially exactly what we've got you almost uh you know you almost feel bad for these other republican candidates you know every time they even get an interview or find themselves on tv or even in their own debates. It's all about, do you want to be Trump's vice president? And unless you're Vivek, of course, and then it's, you know, you can't be vice president. You're the evil Indian face of white supremacy. It's pretty freaking crazy stuff when you think about it. But anyway, this is not a Vivek video. I want to talk about Ron DeSantis. He has finally broken his silence about becoming vice president for Nikki Haley, which without a doubt is the most delusional thing that that woman has ever said it's just you can do three other videos on that but i think he's trying to send a message not just to nikki haley but about the vice presidency period and i'll show you that in a moment guys but first do me a favor like comment subscribe share the channel your support really really does mean a lot and it really helps us grow i think it's going to be very very important to our success in 2024 so here's where we're at obviously polls they don't matter we all kind of know that People give more weight to them than other people, and this poll is better than that poll, whatever. They don't matter. They're, they're just a somewhat reliable mathematical way to kind of read the tea leaves, but anything can happen. We do know that. And all that really will matter are the votes that are cast in the primaries. That said, as much as I like Ron DeSantis, as much as I think he will be important in some way, probably some big way to the future of the conservative movement, I really don't think he's got a chance in hell this time around for... You know, whatever reason, they just didn't run a very good campaign and just made some pretty pretty big mistakes and missteps. And really, you know, there's lots of reasons. But again, that's not what this is about. You know, we've done videos on a lot of the reasons, a lot of the things that DeSantis has messed up. But DeSantis is having a hard time polling better than Nikki Haley, which is concerning. And that is not a good sign to anyone, if we're being honest, even the people that pretend to support Nikki Haley. Here he is talking about a hypothetical vice president opportunity. You, you mentioned Nikki Haley's comments in New Hampshire about Iowa. Uh, Chris Sununu, the, the New Hampshire governor who's supporting her, said it was just a joke and a reference uh, to uh, the fact that Donald Trump would probably win Iowa and that, that, that folks in New Hampshire would correct it. Having said that, though, in the middle of all of this, Nikki Haley said that she would maybe consider you as a possible vice presidential running mate. What did you think of that? Well, I can tell you, uh, I am not going to accept that under any circumstances. You know, I'm running for president really? because I think we need somebody that can win um, and get the job done. Uh, but I would much rather uh, do my final two years as governor, 20, uh, 25 and 26, uh, than, than be vice president. I don't think it's a position that, that offers uh, much. Uh, I want to make an impact. Neil, I'm in office to be able to deliver results to people and to take a position where you're not going to be able to deliver results for anyone. Uh, that just doesn't appeal to me. I do think, though, it's interesting. She refuses to rule out 
whether she would be Donald Trump's running mate if Trump were to be the nominee. And that's, I think, important because she's really catered to a lot of Democrat donors, Democrat-leaning voters, a lot of people that are basically very anti-Trump and have actually donated a lot of money in the past uh, to oppose Donald Trump. And so they're viewing her as the vessel to be an anti-Trumper, and yet she will not rule this out. So the question is, why can't she just give a straight answer? Either yes, you would accept, or no, you would not. And instead, we get the typical politician speak. I've said definitively, no, that's not what I, I'm running for, um, and uh, we're in it to win it. Yeah, so you guys see that. I mean, how freaking crazy is Nikki Haley, man, that she thinks that she could be out talking about if she'd pick Ron DeSantis for vice president. She has got to be out of her mind. I mean, she cannot be serious. And people shouldn't be asking her these questions, man, and picking on her like that. But anyway, Ron made some pretty strong points about Haley and, and her acceptance by Democrat donors, which is an issue. And honestly, if you're her, I wonder, does that make her wonder... I mean, do you think she thinks that these donors actually believe in her? Or does she realize that they literally see her as some sort of dull weapon? But, you know, DeSantis says there is zero chance he serves as VP, especially for her. And I thought he was going to say for Haley, but, you know, I guess he was just trying to make a point about the VP slot altogether. And I believe him. You know, he says he's going through these tribulations to actually serve and actually make a difference. And he sees his opportunity to do that as president or as governor. He can actually make a difference and affect people's lives, and I, and I believe him. You know, I, I, and you got to respect that. I think you know the man is a great governor for a very, very beautiful and and great state that's doing really well. I wouldn't want to leave that for D.C. either, especially for the vice president job. But that's just my take, guys. Let me know yours in the comments, and if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.